Hi, my name is Amit Nayak, and I'm a product manager focused on data connectors and gateways here at MicroStrategy. And I'll walk you through our Q3 updates for gateways, server, and authentication. First, let's review our gateway support and certification guidelines available for view up on the community site. In update three of 2021, we promoted XSL from a gold gateway to platinum. We have a really strong partnership with XSL, which we've leveraged to quickly resolve mutual customer issues and achieve joint wins. We have leveraged our close partnership to ship their ODBC and JDBC drivers with our product in Q1 of this year, and continue that work to proactively certify XSL 6.2 and 7 while deprecating older out of support versions in Q2. We have consistently seen extraordinary performance of XSL, especially when married with the powerful MicroStrategy SQL engine. And we look, we look to continue to leverage this close-knit partnership to continue to improve joint functionality and performance for customers using the joint solution of XSL and MicroStrategy. Other than that, we have not made any other changes to our existing gateway support and certification guidelines. Now, we want to talk about some of our authentication improvements in Q3. These are continuing efforts from Q2 furthering our cloud-first initiatives. In Update 2, we provided support for Azure Active Directory, SSO integrations, and here we wanted to provide similar workflow support for a Snowflake ADFS using SAML tokens. In Update 3, we work closely with a couple customers to extend our Snowflake authentication support to include Active Directory Federation services. It enables federated identity and access management by securely sharing digital identity and entitlement rights across security and enterprise boundaries. ADFS extends the ability to use single sign-on functionality that is available within a single security or enterprise boundary to internet-facing applications to enable customers and partners and supplies a streamlined user experience while accessing the web-based applications of an organization. Here you can see the demo of the ADFS integration support that we provide. First, the user will sign into Snowflake using SSO and log into MicroStrategy Web using ADFS SAML. Then they will create the Snowflake OAuth DB role. Once they create the OAuth DB role, they can input their OAuth parameters. Finally, they can log into their Snowflake database and start creating reports and dossiers as needed. Continuing on, as Salesforce is a premier platinum data source, we are continuously looking to improve our connectivity to Salesforce environments and data sets. In this demo, you will see two ways in which users will now be able to connect to Salesforce sandbox environments. Now users can add sandbox environments and switch between production and UAT environments easily with one click, making connectivity to Salesforce more seamless than ever. This extends our previous work on Salesforce, where we have supported Salesforce reports, Salesforce tables, and Salesforce object query language. At the beginning of the year, we started a new initiative of letting users bring their own credentials. In update two, we introduced OAuth support for our Google Cloud Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 Cloud Connectors. That means you can use Google Authentication and Azure Active Directory to log into our Cloud Connectors using similar workflows as other OAuth compatible data sources. In update three, we extended our work on this initiative, extending our OAuth support to include the AWS S3 Cloud Connector. This means that from update three on, you will be able to use Amazon Cognito to connect to our cloud connectors. As you can see in the screenshot here, you can input your connection information for your S3 app and start using it. With the ongoing cloud computing wave, OLAP and MDX are having a second wind and deliver insights from various legacy sources with speed of thought, thanks to disruptive innovations. Keeping up with the latest in this area, we certified Kyvos in the MicroStrategy 2021 platform release this past December. And now in update three, we introduce another modern data source via MDX, Kyligens. This powerful tool delivers OLAP-based multidimensional analysis for big data stored in on-prem or cloud data lakes. With both hierarchical and regular import supported with Kyligens, you can enjoy modern OLAP solutions in MicroStrategy in a way that suits your business needs best. Finally, we want to quickly highlight over our driver updates in update three. Every quarter, we work with our driver vendors and gateway partners to ship their latest drivers, especially focusing on performance and functionality enhancements. In update three, we have updated the drivers 
for diamond tiered gateways oracle teradata and amazon redshift as well as platinum tiered gateway snowflake and impala thank you for tuning in to our 2021 q3 update